You know it's Strike Force, baby. I had to hit up my plug. You can't finesse the finesse. No, you can't finesse the finesse. No, you can't finesse the finesse. No, you can't finesse the finesse. Ooh. What up, people? Three boxes in the mail today. Honestly, I'm just losing track. I don't know what these are today. This one's from Blue Ribbon Direct. Memphis, I don't know what that, usually Memphis is Nike, this is probably from Nike, I don't know what that blue ribbon is, let's see, let's take a look, I see, Nike ID, oh, you know what this is, this is my Kobe's, my Kobe IDs I ordered way back, on his last, the day of his last game, comes with a nice card, let's see what we got, I might do a whole video on these because, this is my idea I made for his last game. Oh man, we got the gold tongue. We got all his stats and, and numbers all over the sneaker. Gold on the back. Gold Nike signs. I don't know, how did I do? I got the purple and yellow bottoms. Uh, it's been a while, I don't remember if these glow. I got the speckle on the midsoles. Like, looking back, I kind of wish I did a purple or a yellow pair, but you know, the black with the gold stats is cool. The gold tongue, gold in the back. I ain't do nothing special. I, I kept it all. You know, you could have put personalized stuff on the back. I didn't. Inside where you put your stitch and I put just regular old 24 Kobe Bryant in yellow. Of course, on the bottom you see it says Nike ID. We got the black and the gold laces to match. They put little gold tips. It's not metal, but it's still gold tips. A little nice surprise. I guess that's why they're coming from a different address because this is Nike ID and not Nike. <laughs> Did I fuck up bad or what? Let me know. I really like this card they give you though. Got the, the gold on the back. Pretty nice. Nothing else special. The paper says Nike ID and ghost print. Anyway, might do an on foot. Might do a whole review. I pretty much just did a whole review for y'all. See through bottom, it does say zoom for that zoom technology on the sole. Next up, coming from Supreme. Now we usually don't do Supreme unboxings. We might just show you some of the stuff we picked up the week before or whatever. But since this is a, a Supreme uh, shoe unboxing, I figured it would only be right we do an unboxing video. And just know it's not the Air Maxes. I wasn't able to get the Air Maxes. Big Supreme bag, and these are from last week. Oh, I like that. A nice fuck off sticker, Supreme. Of course, they always give you the red sticker in every order. And these are the Clark's original. What do we got here? We got some sort of fold out page. I'll give you a close up picture of that, whatever this says. tissue paper with the print on it. And there we have it. The Clark Wallaby Supremes. Classic look. I know a lot of you young followers don't never seen these. You don't see what the big deal is. But back in the day, the old heads rocked these. The OGs rocked these. These was the shit. Wu-Tang made them popular again. They came back out with them. They used to have the multicolored ones. But, uh, Anybody who followed Supreme knows Supreme also had multicolored ones in different patterns. But this is that, I don't know, some sort of basket weave, leather, suede, toe there. Only place it really says Supreme on it is the hang tag. And I believe the insole, if I'm correct. Yeah, the insole says it in there. But uh, basically just looked like a pair of Wallaby Clarks. That super soft gum, that, now that's a gum bottom. I, mean, I know the sneakers today, I'm a gum bottom fan, but this is the true meaning of gum bottom. Them shits, I don't know, I'll probably, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I gotta have to see how they look on me. I don't know, I jumped on them because I couldn't get the Air Maxes. I wanted a pair of Supreme sneakers. Couldn't wait for the next drop, so I got these. We'll see how they look, see how comfortable they are. I've never tried on a pair of Wallabies in my life, but we'll see how it go. Anyway, on to the next pair. Next up, what do we got? Bowery Street. New York, New York. I know what this is. This is from Supreme. They did another little collaboration with Vans last week. 
If anybody was able to get a pair, a little receipt action. And we got the Vans and Supreme collab. Where's my stickers? No stick oh, there's my stickers. Of course, you're always looking for your Supreme stickers. Bang, bang. Nice Supreme bag. What else we got? All right, that, oh, that's shiny. That's fucking real reflective. Right off the bat, we got the extra spare laces. You got the white laces. Very thick. I don't know what this is exactly. If it's like a shag, some sort of weird stitching. Very nice suede, blue suede shoes. I'm not even gonna say the damn Daniel shit, even though I kind of just said it, but yeah, back with the Vans. Says off the wall supreme on the back. That's pretty much, you know, they keep it pretty simple. They don't like to tag up their stuff too much. You got the gum sole, the gum bottom, and the white midsole, very simple, very plain. The tongue matches this thick, shaggy material that's on the side. And then you got that bright ass reflective Vans, whatever logo it is, stripe coming down the side there. It doesn't even say supreme on the insole. It just says Vans Pro. So the only place you see Supreme is on the back. Very small where it says off the wall and Supreme. I guess you just got Northern Supremes. What else we got? We got a nice little sticker and a tag hanging. Van Supreme. Looking kind of dope. That's a dope sticker. That's about it. Paper just says Vans. Nothing else too special. It says Dirt Cap. Whatever that is right there, I'm not too big on bands. You know I just got these because I'm a supreme head. I don't see them on my feet though. What do y'all think? Y'all fucking with them? I'm fucking with them just because they're supreme, but on to the next one.